beautiful day, guys, when you wake up to pancakes. So just out through there, there is a freshwater lake, and we're going to go check it out now. It's a little Spanish match. It's been very pleasant, hasn't it, darling? Cowie, let's go! Wild and free, baby, we can dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. The Islands in Linkawi is where we've been spending our days waiting for the world to reopen again. Walks on the beach and being amongst nature, our days are slow and filled with little adventures. So today we're just going for a little burn in Dory around all the islands here in Linkawi. Whole family's out today looking at all the islands in Linkawi. Let's go! So just out through there, there is a freshwater lake and we're going to go check it out now. You can walk up there but there's a jetty you can go tie to, so we'll go tie to the jetty and have a little look. Yep, let's do it. It's really beautiful here. Really nice, it's almost got like a little bit of a Thailand feel. Yeah. This place, as you can see, usually has stalls with food and souvenirs, a popular place to come swimming. We knew it wouldn't have all the tourist parts open, but we thought we might be able to still walk around the lake. So it doesn't appear that anybody's here. Obviously, all the tourism, everything's not running. So we may have to go back and climb over the wall like we're going. Oh, someone there. oh someone's here. Hello. Hello. Have a walk? Yeah, good. Close. Go in. It's closed and they told us to come back in July. We're just going to have a look. We're going to let it go up the right way, so we're going to go up this way. See the lake at least. This we assume was an entrance at one stage, but now it's a little bit of a climb for those keen enough.
Dayang Bunting Lake, or the Lake of the Pregnant Maiden, is a freshwater lake here in Langkawi. As the legend goes, the origin of the name of the lake stems from a beautifully romantic but tragic love story. The lake was said to be the place where Princess Mabang Sari met and fell in love with a man named Mat Taja. They got married and shortly after, the princess gave birth to a son. Unfortunately, the baby died seven days later. In sorrow, the princess decided to put the body of the child at the bottom of the lake, expecting that the baby could rest in peace down there. On the shore, Princess Sari prayed for all the women who had problems in giving birth and wished them luck. Standing and looking down from above, each mountain range bends smoothly like a pregnant woman lying on her back. Since then, the lake has become a sacred place for couples with infertility problems. They come wishing to have children soon. Although not scientifically proven, this remains as a strong belief with the locals. That being said, Lee didn't want me anywhere near the lake or awakening any fertility goddesses today. So we opted for a swim in the sea. Now you didn't touch the water, did you, sweetie? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. We're gonna have a swim, look at this water. Time to dive in, Bella. So there's a lot of rattling around over there. We've been told that there's big vipers that hang down from the trees. We haven't seen one yet. I don't really want to see one too close. What have we got here, Belly? Mama's made us some pancakes. Beautiful day, guys, when you wake up to pancakes. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Ooh, I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. <laughs> oh, we got it, but we missed the high five. Yeah! <laughs> Personal, we just building. It's my season, a foundation. Make a name for generations. Please and make a, and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a picture. Trying to look like you winning Or look like you always be working Soaking the moments you live in Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me
there's some fishing boats that come in here and um, you can buy fish from them. And we've got a mackerel. Oh, it's a little Spanish mackerel. A nice little Spanish mackerel. You can see the stripes on it. It's not a bad size. Oh, mackerel. We were only talking about it yesterday, were we? Wish we had the mackerel. Step one, mix some sourdough starter, lemon and pepper and coat the pieces of mackerel. Fry them up, baby, in a hot pan with some butter. It was damn delicious. Even got the captain dancing his happy dance. A beautiful sunset to end the day. Sunsets can be few and far in between at the moment, as afternoons and nights can bring downpours of rain and storms. We had a few drizzly days and ran out of fresh food. And today the sun was shining and there was a whisker of wind, so we headed off to town to provision. It's not far, but a nice little run to air out the sails. Is there a place with sun all year round And pina coladas With pretty faces and sand on the ground I want to stop this ongoing train Before I lose my mind and go insane I don't want to sleep every night Want a lot of spark in the dark. Then we're just back down. I don't oh, want to stay in the dark. I prefer the promise to shut off. And I've done a full system upload. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're not about bagging day. companies, but Simrad, you shit, man. You shit. No luck with that unit. It's terrible. Don't buy a sim bag. Captain sitting in his little hammock. Had a nice little afternoon sailing to Kua. Oh, flat water sailing, you know, sitting on three knots, cruising along. It's been Still very fun. pleasant, hasn't it, darling? But it's coming to an end because <laughs> we're just about at the anchorage and Sarah doesn't want to start the engine. She wants to just sail on in and drop the pick under sail. Yeah, it might be a real sailor, mate. <laughs> anyway, we've uh, we set up the pole. We could just be going to Indo right now. Oh, it's amazing. At night, we're going to pull up into a port. Go to our shopping. It's wet season and all, so it's nice to uh, get a bit of sunshine on the sails. That's brand new. Yeah, it's Don't nice to, to get all mouldy. Air everything out, wasn't it? Yeah. Air it all out, test it all out, make sure everything still goes up and down. Alright. Seems yeah, to be uh, working. Go, things get older, they don't go up anymore. Yeah. There's that, there's that little rewarding feeling, you know, when you just let nature just take you to the next destination. Not burning any fuel. No. Not costing us any money. That's just lovely. 
very lovely, Bella. How lovely was your journey today? Did you have a nice time? How was it for you? What do you need a torch? Is it dark? Thanks for watching that episode, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. If you like that, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, guys. See you then. See ya.